song, Our Messiah Reigns, came out of a time when I was really thinking and reading and studying about that word, Messiah, and what that meant um, for the people in the New Testament in particular, but of course what it meant for Israel throughout the Old Testament. And, uh, you know, we see that word, Jesus Christ, and it's almost as if sometimes it's like his last name, you know, Jesus Christ, as if his parents were, you know, Joseph Christ. But, uh, but Christ, when Paul says it, and the New Testament writers say it, carries with it this heavy meaning of Messiah, of, of Jesus being the long-awaited Messiah. And going back and rereading some of the prophecies and the, the words of Isaiah and the things that he said and the hope that they had of what Messiah would do, of how he would make heaven and earth new and how he would end war and restore Israel and restore the world, and restore all creation. And, and just thinking about those themes, I sat down at the piano one day and just began to kind of sing that first line, you broke the curse of death for you are uh, the risen one. Heaven and earth will be made new for you are the chosen one. And understanding what it is that Jesus has done and who he is, that he's come as this long-awaited Messiah. And I kind of had that little verse and pre-chorus for a little while and then went to Nashville and sat down with a friend of mine, Ian Eskelin, and uh, together just spent an afternoon kind of, you know, going back and forth on that song. And, and uh, he came up with the chorus for it. And, uh, you know, I think our hope is that this song would be something that inspires worship for Jesus, obviously, but inspires kind of a, a maybe a fuller picture of who He is and what He's done and, and what His life and death and resurrection means, not just for our souls and our sins, but for all creation itself.